Thoughtcast reunited with the queen We're after so long, back. but so short. We actually, there's an episode in the void. <laughs> yeah, this is an episode in the void. void. This is coming from you live from the void. Yeah. We actually have no idea what's going on. Can you hear the void in the background? <laughs> Today is like going to be a short episode, but no actual new information will be shared. <laughs> but like new yeah. information no. is always shared. Exactly. So... I might bring up shadow work later, but I haven't completed my research. We are unlocking the secrets to the universe. Slowly. Slowly. So. West Virginia. So today I was thinking of doing a general reading and then a career reading. Yeah. And then probably five cards for each. I'll try to think of a question too, because I actually need help. October is going to be a strange month because we started with a full moon. It's still going on right now. It's October 3rd. It's ending. Today is its last day. It peaked on the 1st. <gasps> <laughs> it peaked on the 1st and it was a, now it's an Aries full moon. And now we're going to end the month on Halloween with a blue moon. It's the first one since 1944, I think that's visible in all like all around the world. And then we could do one for you like the October one just because October is going to be like a weird month. Did that just like ash everywhere? Um. <laughs> Beep. Beep. <laughs> Why am okay. I struggling? <laughs> okay, so the first card in a five card reading mm. when it comes to career is like once again the general question, but then since I focused on the niche, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups doesn't seem good. <laughs> I think it's. Oh, Into the Unknown. It's a search for new paths. A rejection of the material for the spiritual in career wise i feel like our like we're the most fucked right now because it's like we have to now oh, adapt absolutely we have to adapt yeah. to like so many new things and we're not even like set up for like the odds to be in our favor literally like, like no one's hiring right now but i'm dying in debt i guess me too knight of swords is the context so it's like the background intellectual agility Bold solutions, analytical agility. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. I mean, we we do be fucking thinking yeah. about this. If an idea is practical, thoughtful, and well planned, you will navigate the most tangled obstacles. So it's like me and Helen are very career driven. <laughs> the third card is you, and I got temperance. Whoa, whoa! I actually I really That's like temperance like really good. as a card. Yeah, it's like one it's like equal balance of like opposite forces. Mm -hmm. And like that's the hardest thing to fucking you know be logical, but also yeah, quiet awareness, patience, a peaceful melding of opposites. Yes, and that's exactly. like in general what I'm trying to do within my field because it's like the yeah. connection between like the regular people and like yeah, the, the you're people a, like it's a fucking you know technical field. It's like this yeah. like really like logical system, but you don't want to fucking work for like a design a bank website yeah. or something you exactly. want to fucking wanna, like, talk to people like emotion like exactly you have to because i feel people. like it can help like technology can genuinely help a lot of people if used correctly exactly yeah and it's like your community ten of swords no yeah. that ten of swords is so funny it's literally <laughs> the baddest bad <laughs> and that's such a bad card i mean it crouches on his knees it means that like everyone's in fucking ruin dude an end to that way of thinking, surrender, betrayal, forgiveness, liberation from the past. Yeah, but like, Ten of Swords is like, like after the fucking like battle, basically, yeah. it's like this feeling of like, all right, now all is said and done. Everything that has ever like you know been like an argument has already been like argued after, and now it's time to move on from this. Yeah. But what would that but mean for like, community? For community, it means that everyone has like gone through shit. Like everyone's like feeling like really sad in their fucking fields. Like everyone's that's honestly to this right true. Now. Like this for is real. For you. Like y'all need to fucking. This is a direct adage. This is a direct <laughs> adding at you, dude. <laughs> like everyone's fucking watching this video. Like we know you be struggling. We know you've been. We struggling. all struggling. We all struggling, dude. Now we can begin to move forward. It's okay. Move and forward. Then. The future. Ten of wands for potential outcome. That's interesting. It's like an explosion of fucking fire energy. Yeah. That's two tens. Success dude. is wonderful by blessing check to get away from you and tell of Yeah, if you work in the STEM field, you're gonna be overworked. Regardless. It just, regardless. It's the life. I like how it starts off like 
blue and then it gets black. Tyler handed it to me and it was the tower. Like a couple days later, he's like, Sophia, I found this in your car. It was really the tower, the tower tarot card. That makes sense. And I was like, <laughs> destruction of everything. I was like, how did I was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I was like, give me that. <laughs> We're gonna. I don't. That's see why it. this fucking week has been like a dream, dude. Dude, um, this week was not real. I have no cognitive ability. Okay, Helen, do you want to do one of yours now? It's so sad how we just have one day that we have to go back to our regular life. Oh God! I'm just like. <laughs> I was like, I need a. <laughs> I need to just. I need to. <laughs> let, let me rest. I will Therapy. exist later. I, yeah. <laughs> I choose not to exist today. Helen, do you also want to do a career reading? Yeah. Five part? Absolutely. What's my niche? That's what I want to know. I think my niche, it just, I feel like I just have to find like an internship that offers pl a place to make a lot of connections. I think that's what I need. Helen, you should shuffle this also. Okay. So I think, um, so I can print for myself. Yeah, or like staples, if you, you can print it in like glossy paper. I did that. Because I want the tarot deck to be fucking accessible. Like, I want them to be like, oh, you're into tarot? Well, I'm selling these for like 20 bucks. Like, just buy one. Yeah, because both nice. tarot decks are like kind of really, kinda really expensive. expensive. And the okay, so the first part is the question Five of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's okay. Well, yeah. Tainted victory. But it's a victory, but like where no one really wins. And then it's the context. Three of swords. <laughs> By the swords energy, dude. Can you tell I'm a fucking triple Gemini? Uh, can we tell you? It's a, a painful truth revealed. Separation or loss. Yeah. Emotion I mean, numbness. Yeah. A broken ass heart. Yeah. Disappointment. <laughs> broken heart emoji. You. Five of wands. I feel like I always get wands cards for like describing me. Yeah. That's weird though, because it's a fire sign. Yeah. But I guess I, I competitive chaos. I just have fire and air signs in my chart. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's no. all. But like I am it's like always like you're so yeah. determined. You're so determined. Competition. I'm like I am determined. Competition, like, instability, desires, <laughs> harnessing chaotic energy. Yeah. Overcoming obstacles. Yeah, I need a fucking from. chill, honestly. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't need a chill. chill. <laughs> I need to, I need to have balance. I need to have temperance. <laughs> you need, you I need, need some equal blue. parts chill yeah. and no chill. I have too much chill. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's chill is ice, dude. Your community. Where's my matcha? Yeah. Six of cups. Joy Wait, revisited. Warm memories. Joy simple. revisited. Warm memories, simple pleasures, remember joy, temporary relief. Me with Sophia right mm. now. <laughs> also, me with all my fucking crap. When this card shows up in your reading, is it just a reminder um, of your need to approach life with innocence? If you're watching this from Pratt, I yeah. love you. <laughs> it's the difference between art kids and STEM kids. Because, yeah. like, <laughs> well, STEM kids are, like, dying. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have to go and fucking like Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> it's too real. Wait, potential outcome. King of Cups. King of Cups. King of Cups. I think I. I feel like we've gotten this before. Yeah, no, in like literally the chaos. last reading that you gave me, I think yeah. I literally got the King of Cups. Warm, kind, and gentle support. But uh, I love everyone. Now we can do the general um, October one. We should meditate for a bit. For okay. Time. I just think about it. Like, what do you want to do in October? Past. King of Coins. I love the King of Coins. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally you. Order, stability, self reliance, practicality. Is that how you say that? Practicality. Practicality. Practicality and caution. Material and spiritual wealth. Not material wealth. What do I have? Yeah, but you pulled it in reverse. That's true. So. But, but like in reverse, it's like balance between earthly and spiritual pursuit. Queen of Wands. Charismatic compassion. Uh, a genuine concern for others. Charisma. A person guided by instinct. 
It's also like self-doubt, passion to a fault. I think that's that's pretty accurate. But this is like it's like a sugar-coated way of saying it. <laughs> the hanged, hanged man. man. Fuck. Anyways, um, <laughs> a pivotal card. The full moons in October mean for Taurus. Yeah. And basically for Taurus suns and Libra rising, which is what I am. Um, these full moons means that something like something's gonna happen that makes you like realize who you are yeah that's like what it represents so getting the hanged man yeah along with knowing that information makes you a little bit yeah no and genuinely like fucking the month of september was like all just like grinding and like yeah. fucking you know order and stability rule the fucking it's us like literally yeah. like going to fuck. and so like now we're at the queen of wands and like then, intellectualizing everything and mm -hmm. coming and then, I guess this means things will just get better. That's what that's what I'm interpreting it as. <laughs> it's like an awakening. I don't know if things will get better, but it's like um, the more woke you get, the easier it is to fucking like be stable. Like and like yeah. instead of like blissful ignorance, you have like a more stable like fucking outlook on life. So it's like because like mm. when you don't pay attention to like um, everything in life, like um, it comes up in other ways. I agree. I totally agree. I feel like it comes around. Like so you can't ignore that whole thing. You have to be spiritual. Exactly. Or that's like, what like, all men lack. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they're so unhappy. No. That's why y'all can't cry. That's why y'all can't cry. There, we fucking solved it for you. <laughs> if I hear another man say I haven't cried in nine years, like, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cry for that. So what is this one for? Um, October, so like past, present, future. Past. Seven of Wands. Yeah, so the Seven of Wands is like an exerted force. It's like yeah. strength. Unshakable determination. Present. Nine of Coins. They're coming for us because we're coming too close to the answers, dude. Unlocking the so fucking the, system. That's the FBI. Literally. Nine of coins. <laughs> Nine of coins. Individual accomplishment. I mean, this is a really good one. I, I do feel like I, you know, Through know discipline and hard work, you have gracefully and independently crafted and cherished environment. Yeah. And I am at and a point like, in my life where, like, I'm doing, like, exactly what I want to be doing. Yeah. And I have a fucking goal in mind. And, like, isn't that, like, the most future two of coins wow so it's like it's giving you like there's two choices determination responsibilities so it's like in the future literally what i'm have... saying right now is literally i feel finally balanced like in between like the world of fucking yeah. unshakable determination and fucking um you know logical like what can i do to yeah implement so it says for day. now he still has both coins in his like in his hand yeah but like they're unstable so it's like yeah you have to like really choose which coin you want to further lean into and eventually you'll reach that point where you know which path you want to choose wow and then we could do a card of the day to finish it off okay we'll both shuffle do you want to shuffle first this time okay <laughs> <laughs> i just want my own tarot deck i believe in you helen i'll start researching into making the book all balance is fleeting. It's like a cycle. Life's constantly a cycle. Night, Night of, of coins. coins. High five, <laughs> honestly. We, good job. We, this is a good one. We're hard workers, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Methodical victories. As a knight, this card signifies action, idealism, and dedication. So the knight of coins is someone who's like really practical, like gathering facts, details, and strong rationales keeps we it unexpected. At bay. Yeah, so it's like favorable, favorable news regarding income, organized work, practicality, <laughs> and de 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 <laughs> the bag. dependability, a serious but pleasant demeanor. And then like it was reversed, so it's like reverses like carelessness, stagnation work problems lack of motivation so i think this is like saying that like and i think like with online school i feel like it's like i'm reaching burnout much faster <laughs> than like with me going too, in person actually so i think like october is where it's really gonna start to kick in so yeah. like we have to make the choice to either like we can't let it like kick in yeah you have to like no, keep going fucking art school will like fucking burn you out eventually like regardless of how much fun you like yeah, on the other side is queen of coins <laughs> We've been there, bro. 
I want, can I pull like random yeah. cards out of it? Yeah. Page of Wands. Dramatic enthusiasm. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Bless you. Thank you. Seven of Swords is a questionable risk. Page of Wands is an enthusiastic youth, fresh ideas, a new beginning. Neighbors. Let's stand up. We've totally forgot to film the conclusion <laughs> for this, this episode, <laughs> so we're sorry. But yeah. um, basically, uh, in October, just try to like look out for things that are like changing because a lot of change is supposed to happen this month. Yeah, and try to take advantage of the the blue full moon that will happen on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like if you want to do anything, like set intentions or light a candle. Doing it on that night will be like really powerful. The universe yeah. works in mysterious mm -hmm. ways. Okay. Exactly. Bye, everyone. Bye. We love you.